Hello, welcome to Garden Chronicles. My name is James David and in today's video, I would like to talk about this particular plant commonly known as Philodendron selenium gold, also identified as Varshi vichii, uh, also in the context that it is mislabeled. However, I'll come to more on the details on that particular part, but for now, I just would like to share on the context of plant care and what to watch out for while purchasing this plant. So sit back and enjoy the show. Just a basic introduction concerning this particular plant. This is very much actually sold in a local supermarket here. And I have noticed that this particular plant is sort of mislabeled. And I believe that this is based on my opinion. This is actually a new hybrid plant, which has been not properly classified in their proper genus. What I can say is this philodendron is not actually coming from the philodendron selenium, nor it is from the philodendron Wachisii. Philodendron selenium has been reclassified to another category of plants known as Tamutapellum, uh, which is very much similar like the Philodendron hope, where the leaves appears to be something like a papaya shaped leaf, very much on a snowflake kind of features, and these leaves are very huge. Now, the context of selenium and even uh, Wachisii, the factor here is that those leaves in the original color they are very much on a dark green and are coming from that origin where it is very much uh, more on a huge leaf type kind of uh, features similar like the monstera type however these are the new hybrids where it is very much on a neon colorization and they are classified as gold so basically i have not come across a huge variety of a version of this in this color so in a way i believe that this is very much uh, created or produced using tissue culture and very much produced in a mass production one of the another contexts you will find that this particular philodendron you would not have actually uh, managed to find it or if you were to do some research this is considered rare and may not be a Available at least 10 years ago. Because of all these new factors, this is very much on a context of a research and more on a trial and error basis where you may not really know exactly how the plant actually behaves. In a way, you can say that this particular philodendron is more on a sensitive type because of the colors. If you notice here that this gold colored kind of a feature which is not so not so much an identification of a gold rather that it was more on a neon context what appears to be is that this particular type is a sensitive plant so what are the things that need to be watched out for before purchasing do check on the uh, aerial roots and if you can notice that there's so many aerial roots that has been uh, appearing here and that is a very good sign that this particular plant is very healthy also it is actually very good to place a totem pole upon it so that it will grow and you will have a very good support system another factor is that you can notice that the leaves are very flimsy looking and appears to be almost like infected by uh, mealybug or some kind of fungus uh, infestation however i am not really sure it doesn't really look fabulous it doesn't look uh, sturdy or firm so in a way i believe that something is actually lacking here now the other factors that i've actually noticed is this particular one is sold in another nursery and you can look at it carefully it's quite expensive and one of the things here that i can actually identify from this is that uh, knowing that this particular price is still in their premium prices is to say that this particular type of hybrid is fairly new now coming back to the plant care, this particular philodendron do require a basic factor of good fast draining medium where it should not be over watered. Do take a note on any rot that takes place along the stem because uh, if there is a rot then the plant can die easily. 
When it comes to lighting, do not place this particular plant in direct hot sun. Rather, it is more suitable for the indirect or indoor plant. Also, watering, do watch out for not to overwater it, that it may cause rot problems. Do take note when it comes to feeding, do a little bit of uh, trial and error of application of light fertilizer first to see whether the plant can actually handle the stress because at times strong fertilizer can actually cause burn on this particular plant. Also do watch out for mealy bugs and even scale insects at the back of the leaves. Somehow I believe that if the plant is not doing well, ants may come and farm upon them and cause the plant to be more stressed. Other than that, I believe this particular plant is very easy to take care and able to handle very well in these right conditions. I have now come to the end of my video. If you have any questions, do put them in the comment below and I'll try my best my, as my ability to answer them according to my experience. If you can, I would really like if you can support my channel by clicking like and subscribe. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Take care and have a nice day. Bye.